Hello everybody, class 7 here, as you can see right back where we left off. And a quick stroke away to go back, just run along here. Because, I mean, why go through all the turners that mess? You can just run a straight line all the way back. Which makes it ten times easier. Another shortcut right back down here. And we are already right back to Cerulean City. As you can see here, I don't know if you noticed earlier, but there's a policeman center right here we couldn't go through. But now we can, which is what we want to do. Before doing that, I forgot I need to get a second Abra. I don't remember who we have on me currently. I'm going to drop them off on the PC. This may even be completely pointless. So not, not withdraw. Gosh dang it. Nothing else on me? I had... yep. Pokemon, buy Ekans, and buy Oddish, and buy a Bul Bulbasaur, none of which I should have, but whatever, who cares. So I actually need to go catch a second Abra real quick before we go ahead and keep going. So normally we'll be heading right back on up here and going to this house. So we'll be right back, we'll go inside here after I have my Abra. Alright, now that we have Abra with us, we're going to go through his house. Team Rock must be trying to dig their way into no good. Probably. They're always doing that. With visible rockets. Look what they've done to my house. This little town preaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on a, on a Mangy or a Sand Shrew. That cost me a bundle, it did. Uh, okay, I guess you can't use dig now. What? That makes zero. It's a giant hole in the wall. You can call like a perfect square in the back. Whatever. How are, who are you? Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? I don't actually know, believe it or not. So for those of you wondering why I needed the Abra, there's actually a trade coming up that you need an Abra for, and I forgot about it, so I want to make sure to get that Abra with me. Just so I can do the trade in a bit, whenever it comes up. And Emma Chop, let's play this Team Rocket, who apparently dug through this pe these people's house. Which, I mean, why would you ever do that? I just realized I have not healed up, so I have low PP on moves. Should probably go- I should have used Water Pulse, because that would have finished him off instead of Bite! Whatever, I should have healed up, which I- completely spaced on doing. I'm gonna bite again, and Machop is no longer an issue. Bye, Machop. It was so terrifying. Ah, not at all. Hey, Drowsy. Hi, Drowsy, how are you? Yeah, we can't get one of you yet, but we'll be able to soon. But not quite yet. And goodbye. Aw, oh, really? Did I quite kill him? Disable! Oh, and he missed. Okay, not, not an issue in the least bit. Bye, Drowsy. <laughs> that was... Pretty darn easy. We're definitely up to level 30 already, nice. Class to level 30. That is so high already. <laughs> Defeated Team Rocket Grunt. Stop, I give up, I'll leave quietly. God, you better leave. Gosh, breaking people's houses and stuff. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Cover TM 28. Put TM 28 in the TM case. We better get moving, bye. Uh, okay, bye. Well, the nice thing to do would be go back and give him the TM. I figured what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Jiglet how to dig without a TM. So you, you get a free TM. Yay, TMs! The people are not here are gonna jump down, so don't jump down. You might wanna go to the right, but you can't yet. There's a tree in the way. That's Route 9. We can't go there yet. So what you gotta do is keep heading down. And you can see here, we're about to enter Route 5. And there are small bits of grass here, which I actually wanna run around them in a little bit for here. You run around in them for a little bit here. Gosh, words. It should not be that hard. But. Oh, uh, this is a new route here, so we have new um, one new Pokemon we can find here, and that new Pokemon is Meowth. On this route, you can find Pidgey at 40%, um, Oddish or Bellsprout at 25 depending on which version of the game you're in, um, Leaf Green is Bellsprout, Fire Red is Oddish, and then we have our last 35% is going to be Meowth, which we have one right here. Um, I actually have a couple of extra Pokemon with me right now, so I can go ahead and whittle them down, so I'm not sitting here forever trying to chuck Pokeballs at it and having no luck, because that's always irritating, so just not be getting him doing any damage. So let's go on in here. Uh, let's absorb, see how much damage this does. Oh no, I've been bitten. This should actually do some decent damage because I'm not using it on a seeking Bulbasaur. Where it does no damage at all. Gosh, that was irritating. I, I don't... Hmm. You shouldn't even be able to find Bulbasaur and yet I found one. Because, you know, that's how the game works, clearly. Ah, man. Catching it was a pain. Okay, one more absorb. Oh no, it did damage to me. Absorb. Problem solved. That should be about low enough to try and catch him. Let's see if we chuck Pokeball now. And hope we can catch him here. Alright, one, two, three, click. Yay, Meowth. Gotcha, Meowth was caught. Oh man, that was so hard to do. Now said it was added to the Pokedex number 52. The door is around objects. It wanders the streets on a nightly basis to look for dropped loose change. That's cat looking for money. Man, you don't need a nickname. So yeah, that's the only Pokemon you can find here, and you can see down here a building right here. 
to here a lot, don't I? And this is actually a daycare, so if you want to level your Pokemon, you can leave them here on the level up over time. I don't actually don't I don't want to leave anyone here. I hit the wrong button. But I'm gonna do real quick a trick that you can do if you ever forget to heal and you're in an area where you can find a PC, which is useful for me. This is one of the few areas you can do that. Go to the PC with your Pokemon around. What I'm gonna do real quick is take War Turtle, I'm gonna store him in box one, which seems like a really dumb thing to do. But I go back in, move him back over to my party. Place them there, and if I leave the PC now, go with my Pokemon. As you can see A, he's healed up, and B, go look at his moves. He has full PP again, so putting them into the PC just automatically counts as healing them, which is kind of which is kind of neat. So if you ever need to do that, it helps out pretty much if you're not, not near PC for whatever reason. But if you do have a computer, you can get to. So yeah, you would do that. So if trying to head on down this way, through here, you're gonna run into a guard like. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait there, the road's closed. Why is it closed? Uh, so you can't go this way. So we'll have to go off to this mysterious building off to the right. An underground path. Hi, do you have a Nidoran female? I want to trade her for my Nidoran male. Ah, I'm good. So if you do want, not want to go through the pain of catching a single Nidoran male like I did, or Nidoran female like you would in Fire Red, you can trade with her there, catch two of the same gender, and then trade for her, over to her. Which makes it a heck of a lot easier. So clearly optional though, so... It's just there if you want it. People often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. Yep, if you have the item finder, I believe you can find tons of stuff down there, but normally you can't see anything. And you can see a rack out on Route 6, you come up to this entrance over here. It says, well, I'm, on guard, I'm on guard already. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, the road's closed. It's closed from this side too! So you can't even get to whatever's in the middle here, we can't get to. <sighs> but you see an item, and we got a citrus berry. All these berries randomly. That's not the only thing here. I'm pretty sure if you check this side real quick. You got a hidden item, a rare candy. You're not going to spot for anything. So yeah, if you want a rare candy, you got one right there. Now that we're on Route 6, you would think there would be a new Pokemon here. So probably there's not. It's the exact same encounter rate as Route 5, so Pidgey at 40%, Meowth at 35, and then Oddish or Bells are at 25, whichever one you find in your game. So nothing new to find on this route, actually, So because Route 5 and 6 are the same for whatever reason. So yeah, guess there's a bug catcher here. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this guy. Just get some water pulses in here. So it's pretty darn easy. So what I'm actually thinking I'm going to do, between this part and the next, I'm going to be doing a bit of leveling. That sounds really dumb, because I'm doing a solo run. But I'm actually going to be doing is leveling up and evolving everything I have in my um, that I've caught so far that has the chance to evolve. What I mean is, anything that can, I'm going to shoot for a set level, and by that point, like if anything that can evolve up to that point, will have. I'm going to shoot for level 20, so that means Rattata will evolve to eradicate um, Pidgey into Pidgeotto, simple stuff like that, but not going to their final evolution, because I don't want to sit here forever grinding everything up. Um, the reason I'm doing this is to prove Gary wrong. So if anyone that recalls the SSN, if you go on the SSN, you go to Gary, he mentions how he's caught 40 different Pokemon by this point in the game. It's not physically possible to have caught 40 different Pokemon. You can have uh, leveled up to have a total Pokedex of over 40, but you can't physically have seen 40 different Pokemon at this point in the game. So he's definitely lying. Who's there? Go listen in on us. Or you can't have caught 40 Pokemon at this point. So just to prove him wrong, and to mess around with him, I'm going to level up random things I've caught to have over 40 in the Pokedex. Which should be pretty fun. Got a Squirtle right here. How did you get a Squirtle? Where the crap did you find a Squirtle? They don't just show up in the wild, kid. Like, what do you think you're doing here? This is not normal. Oh, you Bubble, you're so, you're so funny. You won your little Bubble. Normally, this would be like a hard battle if you have, I don't know, Charmander, and you have a Charmeleon at this point. And he level 20, that'd be pretty close to your level, so if you're not using anything else, that could be a pretty hard battle. But since I'm level 30, I can- you just- the Squirtle? And he's not even evolved, like, that should've been a War Turtle. But no, whatever. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Well, I just butted on your private- butted in on your private conversation, and nothing seems to be wrong, so I mean... I guess it's not that important. Hey, Rattata! Hi, Rattata, how are you? I used wrong move, but whatever. I'm still gonna probably one-hit him. Because that tends to be what happens a lot of the time. Yep, rattata has gone. <laughs> that was easy enough. And a Pikachu. Pikachu! I want a Pikachu. Oh yeah, I already have a Pikachu. Herder, her. Mega Punch. Gone. Bye, Pikachu. It's nice knowing you. That's, that's how the next gym's gonna go. Oh, gosh! Sticking dang it! Ah! Paralysis. Why? I'm gonna get rid of that. Because if I keep it on, it's gonna cause tons of issues for me. It shouldn't, logically, but it will, as it always thinking does, if you ever leave it on for too long. I don't even have a Paralyzed Heal, do I? I don't. Well, gosh dang it, this is going to be dumb. 
Hello. Never seen you around. Are you good? I am pretty dang good. I say so myself. Got myself a war turtle. It's here. What do you got here, buddy? He has a butterfree. A butterfree? How did you get a butterfree? Level 20. Okay, so this thing right here, th this butterfree, this particular butterfree, is particularly annoying. Well, ah, the worst status condition you can possibly have. Parafusion. Paralyzed and confusion at the exact same time. 50% chance of not hitting, because you're paralyzed, and a 50% chance of that to hit yourself. You have a 25% chance of getting an attack in on the enemy Pokemon. It's really sneaking irritating, and I hate when it happens. This Butterfree is dumb and he's doing Supersonic, even though I'm already confused. Come on. Yes! I got really lucky there. I was only paralyzed for one turn and then hit him the next, next two. Uh, that Butterfree happens to also, I think he can put you to sleep and poison you as well. So I was actually pretty lucky to come in paralyzed already, so he couldn't do anything else to me. So yeah, that, that worked out decently well. But um, confusion goes away after the battles. I'm only going to be confused for these last two battles right here. So yeah, nothing over this way. Nothing over this way. So let's head on down. Hello there. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Uh, sure, I guess we're going to play or something. And we got Pinnaker Isabel. And there's a Pidgey. Such a boring old play, an old Pidgey. That's going to be a piece of cake. This is not going to hit anything because I'm paralyzed. Mega Punch! Goodbye, Pidgey. It was nice knowing you. Yep, not even a threat. And another another Pidgey. Why do you have two Pidgeys? Like, come on. You could do better than that. Oh no, Gust. It's so dangerous. If only it didn't use Gust on me. Or something. Yeah, no, I don't care. Bye, Pidgey. 187 experience. That's so much. Alright. And Protect. That is pretty nice, make sure so that it makes it so they can't hit you for a turn, but I have no real need for it, so, yeah. Nah, no protect for you, Quest 3, you're good. But, seriously, you have three Pidgeys? I mean, I have an item. I'm gonna show that in a bit. Three level 16 Pidgeys. Just why? Like, at least, like, toss in a Rattata or, like, a Spearow or something there. Ah. It's so irritating to find trainers that have all the exact same Pokemon. Like, come on, can be, be diverse by this point. Other things you could have caught. Things just didn't work. It didn't work for you? No, definitely not at all. Next! Hello? Huh? Wanna talk to me? I, I guess I'll talk to you. I mean, I don't have an option, do I? Doesn't look like it. Pepper Jeff would like to battle. And a Spearow. Hey, that's a bit more diverse. Go Clash Bear. And a Mega Punch. Because it works on everything, apparently. Oh no, my defense is... Ah! See, Mega Punch has an 85% chance of hitting, and I have yet to miss a single one. I was saying that the next one's gonna miss, probably, because that's just how it works. So, yeah. Eradicate. Ooh. I don't want to switch now. Keep hitting guys accidentally. Gotta stop button mashing. Okay, that's not fair. Rattata does not evolve into Eradicate until level 20. This is an illegal evolution. He should not have it currently. That being said, I'm still gonna one-shot it. I didn't one-shot it. I didn't one-shot it, I'm surprised actually. I was thinking I'd just one-shot it, because Mega Punch has tons of damage, or whatever. This paralysis hurt me for one turn since I've gotten it. I'm okay with this. Uh, this thing, I could have beaten your challenge, but but you c didn't. Like, you, you say you could have, but if you could have, you should have beat me right then. But you did it anyway. So we get here. I want to go over early with his house. Hi there! I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell him, would you like to fish? Yes. Grant, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Got an old rod, which means I can catch Magikarps now. Yay! It, it's completely useless. From the sea surface, go out and land the big one, my friend. Literally, with an old rod, you can just catch pretty much Magikarp. That's about it. So now they're here in Vermilion City. What I want to do is go inside this Pokemon Center. Uh, let's see. I want to heal up real quick, because having health tends to be useful. And there are a few side quest things we can do in the city. Well, town, place... City, it's silly, yeah. So let's see, we can talk to her. First of all, someone you've tangled before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle, I wanted to battle certain people again, over and over too. So I've been giving these away. Please take one. I get the Versus Seeker, which means you can use to fight trainers again for rematches. So, you have to, yeah, you have to take 100 steps where you can reuse it. So, it's useful, but it's not always the best thing to have with you. So I'm going to do it real quick. And it's going to... Uh, he has a 
berry. I don't need that berry. I don't hold on to them too because they're useful to just have in general. What I want to do is go ahead and grab out this Abra so I can hold on to them for the time being. As well as this Spiro. And we're going to take our Spiro with us. Head on out of here. I'm finally going to show off the Spiro trade, which happens like one of the very first routes where you can catch a Spiro. But you cannot trade him until we get down here. Uh, is this house? I think it's this house. Uh, I'll leave this girl, yep. Do you have a Spiro? Want to trade her for my Farfetch'd? Sure, kid! So go to your Spiro, give her a Spiro, and you get a Farfetch'd from her. This is the only way to get Farfetch'd in the game, so if you really want a Farfetch'd, which I don't know why you would, because Farfetch is pretty dang bad and doesn't evolve. So, Spiro is the far superior of the two. But for playing the Pokedex, you want a Farfetch'd. Hi, Farfetch'd. And just because I can, I'm gonna keep this Farfetch'd with me all game. Cause he's gonna be like an HM save or something. Use like cut and fly and stuff. And it'll be awesome. Chuding! Yeah, they, they nickname the Pokemon they send you. So, a Farfetch'd named Chuding. Take good care of Chuding. I will, I promise. Thank you, you're welcome. Yeah, you should want to get rid of the Farfetch'd. So, the Farfetch'd comes at the exact level that the your Spiro is that you center. So, if I go in here, Farfetch'd, or Chuding's level 5. I think he has, like, he's hearing like a stick or something. I, I, I just leave it on, it the on him the entire time, so yeah. The one last thing we can do real quick, head on up here, this old man in the top corner. That I chair the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than 100 Pokemon. I'm, I'm very few fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? Yeah, sure! Good, then listen up. My favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular. Ravishing! Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And you get a bike voucher, which means you can go get a bike, which otherwise you cannot get in the game. Take that bike voucher to the bike shop in Cerulean City. Exchange that for a bicycle, free of charge! Don't worry, my favorite, my favorite Fira will fly me anywhere I need to go. So I have no need for a bicycle. Hope you like cycling. Which I do! Because bikes are useful. We'll go get one eventually. But yeah, I think that's about a good point to end off here. I'm gonna head back onto the Pokemon Center, and when I get back, I will have quite a bit more of the Pokedex um, filled up for the next episode. I'll probably do a quick montage showing me training through everything. So that'll be for this part, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!